Folks, I want to briefly share with you a dream that I had. And I know that whether good or bad or negative or positive, if you will, regardless of what that dream might share, what the information might be, I know that they have the power to encourage people. That people's testimonies and the things that God's doing in their life has the power to, to change the lives of others. So I want to share this with you, not just to discourage your heart under the event these things will come to pass, but to encourage you to know that it's very likely that the Lord is coming very, very quickly. Like I said in a previous video, that, that, that God didn't just say that when you see these negative things beginning to come to pass, to look up and lift up your eyes for your redemption draweth nigh. He didn't just say that because he wants you to know he's coming. He said that also, I believe fully, so that you would fix your eyes on him, so that you would look up and lift up your eyes and fix them on him, so that you wouldn't be discouraged at the things that's going on in this world. Folks, I had a dream, and in this dream, I found myself in what seemed to be the downtown of a, of a city of some sort. I don't know what the city was. I don't feel like it was the one that I live in, but I was in a downtown area, and what I saw going on was, was fights and riots, and there was fires and flag burnings, and there was all sorts of chaos taking place in that moment, and... It was just outright destruction and, and violence to the highest degree. And it's almost like a turning of a page, a turning of a chapter that I went from that scene to the next in which I saw people being hoarded into some sort of facility. And as they were being taken into this facility like a herd of cattle, I realized that families were being divided that men were going one place and women were going another. They were taking small children to one place and others to another. They were separating folks by, by gender and age and all sorts of different ways in this facility. And families were being just broken apart and there was great distress. There was great, just great violence and just so much uneasiness in society. And I'm not going to pretend to know what time in history this was, whether it be the middle of a tribulation or somewhere near the end or even pre-rapture. I don't know how to pinpoint all of that. But what I do know is if any measure of the things that I saw in this dream begins to come to pass, which I believe that they will, then folks, we have got to have our eyes fixed upon the Lord to not become discouraged. We have got to have our eyes on the sky and on Jesus and keep our hearts on the prize and not let ourselves become discouraged or drawn away. If we're not filled with the Spirit of God and on fire for God in the moment that these major things begin to come to pass, then my concern for many is that they will not be able to stand. Folks, the condition that the American church is in right now at large could not withstand true persecution. That the condition that the church is in right now at large has no hope. But if the people would put their hope squarely in Jesus and submit their lives to Him and return to their first love and stop putting Christ as second or third in their life and not just have a Sunday religion or even a Saturday religion or whatever floats your boat in this moment, I would that you would give your heart to God and not put Him second or third, that you would lay down the idols of your heart and put them away and stop putting sports before Him or TV shows before Him or relationships before Him or addictions before Him or whatever your favorite sin is before him stop putting other things before God and serve him with your whole heart because if Christ is not ruler and reigner and Lord of your heart when these things begin to come to pass then my concern for the people is that you will not be able to stand folks what I saw in the dream was awful and I can't bear to think of families being split up and torn apart and having to endure what it is that they were having to endure I can't bear to imagine those kind of things happening to anybody but folks, I feel like it's going to. I feel like it's going to. Where is your heart right now? Where do you stand with God? Do you have your family bathed in prayer? Are you training up your children in the ways of the Lord? Folks, don't lose heart when you begin to see these things come to pass. 
This nation is getting more wicked and more wicked by the moment, and America is stepping into judgment. We will be judged for our sins. America will be. I'm not talking about us who are believers individually, but this nation is going to face a judgment. Make sure your heart's right with Jesus Christ. There is no other answer. There is no other answer. In Jesus' name.